and we are going to present you how we can prepare our listening plan when there is no internet connection. As you see in our preview, when we have internet, we prefer to use Kahoot and the YouTube. When there is no internet, YouTube videos can be downloaded or you can use PowerPoint presentation. Regarding Kahoot, those questions they can be written and print out, then share to student. They make discussion groups, then make a feedback after their discussions. Regarding reason, we use Google Slides and YouTube when you have internet. Offline can make PowerPoint presentation. Remember that PowerPoint presentation, we have it in our machine as a tool of Microsoft Office. Can make slides, different animations as on Google Slides, you can download those information see, without videos, downloading images from graphic software paints, downloaded video to our machines and the can put to the projector to present to the students. What the document also can facilitate us eh? to teach our lesson when there's no internet. Those content downloaded eh, can be projected eh, to the screen. Other tool we used, it is Retro, Pi, Ankata, video, scroll down, yeah. Wikipedia also we use it when we make it such. They are Wikipedia, Bluetooth, can use it to share among students. In our machine we have Bluetooth. Mm, Microsoft Excel can use it as, in order to collect results or to print out points from the result of our students. Regarding evaluation, we use Kahoot and Edmodo, retro, animated PowerPoint, Bluetooth, Microsoft Excel, those are different tools we use. Go on google.com, you will find many tools used when there is no internet. Among those who have retro, there are others. Eh? Scratch, and there are so many tools which you can use when there is no internet. Thank you. Can you add something here? Thank you very much. Uh, here is the main topics that we have selected to consider or to compare those tools. So that there are there is details, but here we can refer. Uh, the main things, we are, here we have online plans and offline plans, tools that those we use. Where we compare Kahoot or YouTube, we can pre-download videos and make the PowerPoint videos or question and answers. And in addition, we have Google Slides and YouTube when we have online. And here, alternative, we can use PowerPoint slides with hyperlink. Then you can use pre-downloaded Google Slides, diagrams, downloaded video, Word document, or retro path. Then here in evaluation, we can use Kahoot or Edmodo. Alternative on offline is question and answer, answers, retro path, or animated PowerPoint, and also Excel, as my colleague said. Thank you very much.
So thank you to add on what my colleague have said. Uh, we said yesterday that uh, the reason we chose Kahoot in uh, our, our preview and uh, evaluation, it is that Kahoot will help our students and uh, will help our students to get engaged and uh, enjoy and uh, yes, uh, engage the exposure and enjoy the course. Now, for us, uh, to still have the same, to have our students still have this enjoyment, to still have this exposure, to still have this engagement offline, we choose to use this PowerPoint presentation, but there is a, there is a way that you can design a PowerPoint presentation which can make still your student to be engaged and, uh, and excited. So how you will design, how questions will be coming one by one. Yes. Uh, so this also will help our students to be engaged. And uh, here, some of us have, uh, have, uh, have not yet seen or understood this Rachel Pie for this is maybe for the first time. It is a tool that works offline as an internet server. Just you bring it, it works as, a, as an internet access point. So if you, have, uh, if you have a content or something that you want to share with the, the whole members here, you connect it to the power, then you, you share the content. Each computer will be connected to that device. And if you have uh, questions or content or resource, that you want to share with your student, you just give them what we call IP address or the address of that, that uh, device, then each student will access your content offline in your class. So you can share questions, they answer, then submit, you get it on your computer. In Carita, also, we need, we said that we need our student to be exposed to different content. When we use Incarta, when we use Wikipedia, also our student will be able to access or to have different content regarding on your topic. Thank you.